Ever typed an app and wondered what's happening behind the scenes? Let's break down the front end magic in under two minutes. First up, the structure. What that means is code that lays out where every element is. So whether it's for Instagram, the image, the description, the buttons, like for example, this like button, button for Instagram, where the number of likes show, etc. On the web, that's the that's HTML. In Android, it's XML. And for iOS, it's storyboards. Next is styling. Styling refers to how things look. So you've already set up the structure of it. Let's say you want this to be a different color or this text to be a different font or even defining how things are laid out. For example, making sure it posts are shown one after the other and not in some kind of grid. On the web, styling is done through CSS or higher level styling languages. On iOS, it's on top of Swift and Android uses XML. Finally, logic is added. The logic is what determines interactivity, like handling clicks, form validation, or how content is loaded. So for example, double clicking on the like button would trigger the logic to add plus one to the likes and then show that you have liked it by changing the styling. On the web, this is done through JavaScript. For iOS, it's Swift. And then for Android, it used to be Java, but the standard has moved to Kotlin. And I'm sure you've realized that there's a different code base for each. So web, iOS, or Android, you'd have to write multiple times to get a similar result on different platforms. If you wanted to have one code base, you could use tools like React Native or Flutter to write once and get multiple results. So the front end is a blend of structure, styling, and logic working together to create the seamless experience we enjoy on our devices. Curious about how the backend and database tie into this? Follow for the next breakdown in our How Apps Work series.